What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. Two months ago, I posted on my YouTube community section asking you what topics you would like me to discuss since I couldn't post any volleyball playing videos. Thank you to all of you who contributed topics and voted. The topic that received the most likes was how to get back into volleyball training after not doing anything for a month or two. I'm glad you guys chose this one because it is the most important topic to discuss right now for athletes of any sport outside of coronavirus safety because we will be transitioning back into playing our sport in the near future. First, I'll talk about the worst way to transition back into playing volleyball, which is to do nothing and then play hard during a volleyball practice or game. That is a guaranteed way to injure yourself regardless of your age and experience level. I want to share with you an interesting study that was published by the Journal of Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy that studied the Achilles tendon injury rate after the NFL player lockout in 2011. A player lockout is where the NFL owners and players cannot come to an agreement regarding salary caps, health and benefits, player safety, and so on. This NFL player lockout lasted for 18 weeks. This meant that players could not have access to team facilities, medical staff, or trainers during the lockout period. This also meant that their standard 14-week off-season training camp was significantly cut short. After the players and owners came to an agreement, the players only had 17 days to prepare for preseason competition compared to 14 weeks, which is crazy. As a result of a shortened training camp, there were four times the amount of Achilles tendon ruptures, which could be a career ending injury, and 35% of those injuries happened during the preseason. Many people view the Achilles tendon rupture as a veteran player's injury, but what's even more interesting about this study is that half of the injuries reported within the first 12 days were rookies in their very first year. We can conclude that even at the highest level with top tier athletes, it is dangerous to jump into hard training and competition after a long break. I'll be talking about three areas that you should focus on to safely prepare your body for volleyball games and practices. The first area is physical preparation. There is another interesting study featured in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research that had eight subjects perform strength training with knee extensions four times a week for three months and then stop training for three months. Researchers from three Tokyo universities would measure the changes in the muscles and tendons. They found that the subjects were significantly stronger after just two months of training, mainly due to better neural activation, but their muscles didn't actually get bigger until after three months. The tendons also didn't significantly get stiffer until after three months of training. When the test subjects stopped training after three months, their muscle size dropped back all the way back to pre-study levels, while strength stays significantly higher even three months later. Tendon stiffness dropped to pre-study levels just after two months. So how does this apply to us? Every athlete responds slightly differently to training and inactivity. However, we can generally conclude that it takes anywhere from two to three months for our muscles and tendons to adapt to training, and most importantly, our tendons adapt more slowly than our muscles. This means that even if you are getting stronger, your tendons may not have caught up yet, so you may be exerting greater forces than your tendons can tolerate which will ultimately lead to injuries. This is why you must train your body for several months before going into intense sports activity because it takes time for your body to adapt, grow, and tolerate all the impact and strain that comes with playing sports. If you don't have access to a gym or training equipment, I offer a 12-week body weight jump training program that will not only increase your vertical jump, but will also get you stronger, faster, and ready to play volleyball. I also offer an online training service where I can write you a customized workout program. So make sure that you sign up for a training program today so you can start getting ready for your next volleyball season. 
In addition to improving your strength and conditioning, you also need to improve your coordination by developing movement patterns that are related to your sport. You can do something as simple as going through all of your passing, setting, blocking, and hitting footwork and technique, even if you don't have a ball. It's essential to maintain that coordination because injuries don't just happen when your body is not strong enough, they also happen when our body is not moving fluidly and precisely. The second area for getting back into volleyball is being mentally prepared. You can develop your mental conditioning by watching volleyball games and studying specific positions. It's very possible to be physically ready, but not mentally ready. By watching top level athletes play your sport, you subconsciously store their movement patterns, ball trajectories, formations, strategies, and the flow of the game. By studying specific positions, you will internalize their techniques, decision making, body language, positioning on the court, and how they interact with other players. I always recommend to be a student of the game, especially when you cannot play. The third area for getting back into volleyball is easing back into playing. This may seem counterintuitive, but spend more time doing volleyball drills in controlled environments and less time playing. When you do play, don't go 100% for the first two to three weeks. Let your body get used to moving on the court, tracking the ball, and coordinating with other players. When you're playing frequently, your body can adapt to awkward and unpredictable situations, but when you haven't played in a while, your body will not be as coordinated in those situations, and if you're moving at full speed, you're going to amplify the effects of a potential injury. In summary, make sure that you're physically and mentally prepared, and slowly ease back into playing volleyball. Going too hard too soon will guarantee injury. Make sure that you share this video with as many of your volleyball friends and teammates as you can, because I know a lot of people are just dying to play volleyball again and will risk injuring themselves if they don't approach it safely. Let me know in the comment section how you plan to prepare for your volleyball season. Don't forget to subscribe for more volleyball and training videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.